Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the card we're making today. This is day two of a little foxy sweet. This is the card. And this one is, again, almost a direct case from the catalog. I changed it up just a tad. Uh, the base of the card is Tangerine Tango. It's eight and a half by five and a half. We're going to score that at four and a quarter in just a minute. The next layer is five by three and three quarters. That's this layer right here. Then we've got the designer series paper that measures three and a half by two and a half, uh, five and a half by two to make our little fox here. Then three and a half inches of the smoky slate ribbon, and then a three by three piece for the tree. And all the details on how to get the kit is over on my website. Okay, so we're just going to place it here on the Simply Scored Scoring Tool. Score it. Okay, and we're just going to fold it over to form the card base. Okay, we're going to take the Designer Series paper and attach it right in the middle of our Whisper White layer. Just like that. Okay, okay. so now we're going to stamp the tree, Smoky Slate Ink. I'm going to place this on my Stampin' Mat. Now we're going to cut that out with the Perfect Pine Framelits. Now this is one that is fairly easy to, to uh, fussy cut if you wanted to. So if you don't have the framelits, you could still do it. So I'm just going to place this right here. The hardest part would just be the stem or the trunk, the base, but you can. Okay, place that on there. Okay, we'll set this aside for a second. Now we want to stamp our little fox. We're going to be using Tangerine Tango ink. I'm going to take um, the little tail that has the little spot at the end. Stamp that. And then if you look at the punch, you will notice that the flat side of his body is um, at the top, okay? So we want to make sure that when we stamp the fox that we stamp it so that the top is going up. So you're basically going to be stamping your fox upside down over here, okay? So I'm just going to ink it up. Now you can use um, another piece um, to do this, but I like using this one. I'm going to stamp his face a little further down here because when you go to punch out, uh oh, I may have got it too close. When you go to punch this piece out, um, you could cut into his head. <laughs> and that just sounds funny, I know, but see what I mean? So there's that. So we got his little tail, and then now we're cutting the body. Oh, and I have enough room. I'll show you. This is how you want to stamp it, okay? I'm going to open up my black ink pad and just put his body back up here so that I can stamp the legs. And to be honest, you don't have to stamp the legs if you don't want to. I have not stamped them on every little fox project I've made, so. And then, uh, row. I need to get a wipe. Okay, so when you're inking up his eyes, uh, be careful. There we go. Okay, 
So we can go ahead and attach this layer to the front of our card just using snail. I meant to stamp the greeting first before I attach that layer. I knew there was a reason why I was waiting. I don't like attaching all the layers until I've um, made sure I'm going to be able to stamp it straight. So I'm just going to hold my breath real quick. Let's see. It looks good. It could be a little bit higher, but it's fine. It's straight, so that's good. So our little, not little, but our tree's going to go there. And then our fox is going to go right here. So what we're going to do is take a glue dot and add his tail just like that. We'll go ahead and add this with dimensionals. Just going to put a couple on there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ribbon. Here we go. Nope. This is it right here. So what I want to do is just cut it at an angle. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat here. Sometimes I use glue. Sometimes I, I use all sorts of things. Today, I am going to use snail. And if you use this silicone mat, you don't get snail anywhere but on the ribbon. Okay? I just want it to hang over just a tad. And then you just want to make sure that your ink is dry before you try to rub off the extra glue. There's not really any. I did a pretty good job. so And that part right there is going to be covered up. So it's okay that it's not totally straight. See? So let's add the tree. The way I put the tree is just a little bit hangs over the white. And then the fox is going to cover up the trunk of the tree. So, dimensional. Okay. And then, his face. Another dimensional. Uh-oh. I forgot to take the back off. <laughs> okay, now all we have to do is add a couple rhinestones. And you can place these anywhere you want. To be honest, I kind of copied what was in the catalog. I figured why change what already looked really good. And you don't even have to add these if you don't want to. Okay, so just ignore my little smudge of tangerine ink there. There's both cards. Okay, have a great day, and don't forget to check out all the details for the free kit. Bye.